Einen wunderschönen guten Abend, meine Lieben. Ich bin Soja Odo. Und wir sind zurück bei diesem Elysium. Ähm, nachdem wir in unserer letzten Folge etwa eine Stunde mit der lieben Joyce gesprochen haben und trotzdem nicht alle Besprechungsoptionen durch sind, machen wir jetzt mal ein wenig weiter. Da ist eine Tür. Ah. Da geht es rein, wo wir gerade vorhin drinnen waren, oder? Ja. Gehen wir nochmal auf den Balkon und reden wir nochmal mit der jungen Dame dort vorne. Vielleicht haben wir jetzt einen besseren... Vielleicht gibt es jetzt neue Optionen, nachdem wir mit der guten Joyce gesprochen haben. Wir suchen nach äh, einem Drogendealer. Cindy, Cindy. Voll vergessen, wie sie heißt. Ähm, ja, okay, das schaffen wir natürlich nicht. Okay, passt. Also wieder zurück. Wir kommen im Übrigen jetzt wahrscheinlich rein, weil äh, wir haben ja jetzt den... Ähm, wir sind ja jetzt... Gehen wir da raus. Ähm, quasi hinten raus. Wir haben ja jetzt die Race Theory internalized. Damit sollten wir eigentlich reinkommen. Aber bevor wir jetzt reingehen, schauen wir mal. Jetzt noch Zeug zum Aufheben. Ich glaube nicht. Da ist unser Mantel. Ich würde ganz gerne zu unserem Mantel kommen. Okay. Suchen wir jetzt mal äh, zunächst einmal das mit der der Choice zu helfen. Wieso rennen wir jetzt eigentlich? Vorhin sind wir nie gerannt. Dazu müssen wir bei den Lorry Drivern nachfragen. Es wird gemeint, es stehen drei Leute rum. Da ist mal der erste. Seem like a man who knows about drugs. Nope, don't smoke. Some of the other drivers do though. There's still a few around waiting for the jam to disperse. Or waiting for the sweet release of death. Okay. Yep. Nothing wrong with that statement. Your senses have nothing to add. You left the ask around elsewhere. Uh, I'll ask around then. You could also check the kiosk down the street. Brit. With three T's. Clever Shaw's weird. Okay, you seem like a man who knows about oh, drugs. Man. Me and narcotics go way back. <laughs> I had some good times surfing the psychic waves of my own consciousness, you know? Kanye is grau im Gesicht, also wieder wohl mit Drogen Konsum hat er. Those days are behind me. There are other addictions in my life now. Why the inquiry, my man? Just be straight with him. Okay. Do you finance those other addictions of drug, drug trafficking? Let me be straight with you. I'm trying to figure out 
who smuggling drugs out of Terminal B. Ich glaube nicht, dass er es ist. Der ist viel zu freundlich. Wir haben einen Lead, Sir. Jemand auf diesem Rundabout ist, warten für einen Schiffmann von der Harbour, zu loaden es auf der Lorry und es nach Jamrat zu bringen. Nicht mich, Mann. No way. I don't need any trouble. Shit's bad enough anyway. This jam's got folks up in arms and I'm afraid it's headed toward a conflagration. Okay, wait, then why are you still hanging around? Who do you think? Gotta guard the stuff. Bosses don't look kindly on missing cargo. And it gives me time to work on my rhymes. Okay. A rhyme smith? This is quite credible. It goes with its cadence. And way of speaking. Hmm. Who do you think could be conducting the drug Look, trade? Look, man, I try to stay away from the criminal underbelly of Revachol. I'm a guest here. You really need to find another man to probe with those questions. We wouldn't say he's lying, sire. Oh, okay. We're being on a chance, on a conceptualization chance. He's a poet. Hit him with your best verse. Ich glaube, wir können, wir können unsere Conceptualization noch verbessern. Interfacing, Physical, ah, oh, da. Reaction, this really core, Composure, ah, oh, noch mehr Conceptualization. Ausgezeichnet. Stuck in the rain in a traffic jam, man. Ja, jetzt haben wir eine 72-prozentige Chance. Wir brauchen einen 13 und haben einen plus 7. Uh, das heißt, wir brauchen 6 oder höher. Komm schon. Wait. There's something here. Stored away in some dusty corner. It starts like... A mirror's temperature is always zero. It is ice in the wounds. Its camera is an x-ray. Whoa. What else? It is a chalice held out Silent to you. Communion. That's good. Mm -hmm. Where gasping thee, you partake of a shifting identity, never your own. Dang, that's some great shit. You can do <laughs> that yourself. Uh, nein, das war meine Jacke die ich jetzt gerade angezogen habe. Um, <laughs> I think that may be an actual poet. That may be an actual poet. And I've learned it by heart. I'm just a vessel for the muse. I think the words are mine, yes. Right. But really, no bullshit. That's great stuff. I sort of want to know if it's yours. I don't really know. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is it. Fucking hey! Seems I got you all wrong. Props are much known for their artistic sensibilities these days. It's good to meet a fellow poet, someone with an appreciation for real tech. The others here, they don't really get it. Hmm. It makes it all easier to bear if the words are pretty. Hey man, cops are human too. Yeah, I guess I owe you an apology for thinking otherwise. And again, great shit. Second. Common ground with this man. He even impressed him. The next time you look in the mirror, though, remember those words. Okay. Nochmal da jetzt uh, rein sagen. But those days are behind me. There are other addictions in my life now. Why the inquiry, my man? Hey man, that's serious criminal talk. Are you trying to pull some sort of an entrapment uh. is a practice whereby an officer of the law induces a person to commit a criminal offense that the person would have otherwise been unlikely to commit. Usually through some trickery, persuasion, or fraud. Oh, man. 
Then what you do here? We have a credible lead, sir. <laughs> Not it's me, no, no way. I don't need any trouble. Look, man, I try to stay away from the criminal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Why does art inspire you so much? Das weiß ich nicht. It does, yes, but what is art? No, art is for arrogant blowhards. Yeah. Excellent question. Art is a diverse range of visual, literary, auditory, and performative creativity. It's an expression of imagination and technical skill. Additionally, it's history. Criticism and pure enjoyment. <laughs> Thank you, conceptualization. In short, art is the highest form of human communication, representation, narrative, emotion, and agency intertwined. Would I fit into the art world? I mean, have you looked in the mirror lately? <laughs> you have the exact features of a savage art critic <laughs> with that beard and those clothes, disheveled and prophetic. Perhaps you should try to critique architecture too. Hold on, is architecture also art? I guess I have been feeling critical lately. That's stupid. Architecture is stupid. Of course not. It's autism, box drawing, masturbation, <laughs> and a sextant, or whatever they use. You should demean and criticize the genteel institution of architecture while extolling the virtues of the pure arts. Oh, yes. Das ist großartig. Diese Worte muss ich intern internalisieren. <lacht> uh, Architekt Architektur ist nur Box Drawing. <lacht> Masturbation mit einem, einem Lineal und einem Sextanten. Oder was auch immer sie verwenden. <lacht> oh yes. Architekt finde ich sicher gut, wenn man ihnen sowas sagt. Wait, what about music? Is it art? I guess I have been feeling critical. Only the most experimental kind. That's stupid. Architecture is stupid. Music is stupid. Nein, I guess I have been feeling critical yes, lately. You see substance. No vapid representations and reproductions of social mores as made manifest in stuffy biennials. We're talking real living art here. Become the art cop. Half art critic, half cop. Okay, if 50% art critic is what's needed to free me from rote repetition, so be it. Opt in. No, I cannot risk another corporal diversion at this point. <laughs> Go away. Yeah. Wobei wir haben den Dings, den Kommunisten haben wir schon weggeworfen, also so gesehen könnten wir uns den Art Cop durchaus leisten. Wait, but don't I have to be 100% Cop to get the case finished and all that? Quit being so indecisive. What are you going for here? Some kind of indecisive and camp aesthetic now? Strike a bold shape here. Go Art or go home. Ooh. Conceptualization, weil es genau worum, worum es geht. Okay, gut. Exactly. It's not only your duty to only catch the criminals of the street. You must also apprehend criminals of the printing press and the gallery, the trite and derivative artists and writers of the world. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, genau. Go ahead and provide savage criticism, art cop. The world is yours to rip to pieces and reassemble. Ja, yeah, das werden wir machen. Okay. So, es gibt hier aber noch die ältere... Ah, warte mal. Haben wir da nicht irgendwo einen... Oh, das kennen wir schon, oder? Das ist dieses... der Statue. Ja, kennen wir schon. Da war noch eine alte Tante. Und dann war noch der Nazi. Ich 
you may need to be more forceful. No, yeah. Where am I? Who are you? <laughs> Make a magician recalling a subject from your hypnosis. You've jolted her back to reality. The smile on her face has disappeared, replaced by the weary aspect of a cornered beast. You could tell me that. Are you all right, ma'am? You were out. Uh, never mind. I remember now. I'm still stuck in that traffic jam in the 50s. She adds with contempt. Wait, what's so bad about the 50s? Where else would you be then? When else would you be? Back in Nazca, during the time of the revolution. The cell uh -huh. walls and cafes are filled with young people. I was on my way to see a new Goya Deiro picture starring Gabriel Buenguerro. Okay. Until you came along, that is. Okay, who's Gabriel Buenguerro? Is Gabriel Buenguerro. Ah. Oh. A strikingly handsome man looks straight at you. His head crowned with a wide brim hat. His hair is dark. As an oil slick, and his jaw, the most perfectly chiseled thing you've ever seen. And Schauspieler nehme ich an. She was the biggest star of his day. Girls used to faint in the aisles of cinema whenever he came on the screen. And schoolboys used to memorize all his lines. <laughs> she leans back, savoring the world she's conjured up. In all likelihood, it's a world that's only ever existed. Mm, klar. So I take it you were in mask when you were young. Sorry to interrupt your dreaming, ma'am. Right, I have some other question. Okay. Someone was. No. Okay. They are someone's memories, boy. What difference does it make if it's me or not? Hmm. They are beautiful. That is all that matters. Beautiful and true. And they will win. They're coming for this, you know? All of this. She seems to derive some bitter pleasure from this strange thought. As if the past will one day wipe the present away. Like a tidal wave approaching. Hmm. In Wirklichkeit, obgleich die Gespräche sehr witzig teilweise sind, sind sie doch auch sehr, sehr deprimierend. Sollen wir das überhaupt noch fragen? Ich bin mir nicht sicher, ob sie das noch grantiger macht. I wasn't dreaming. I was there, no man. It was early spring, and the man behind the black sun had just come out. The posters were 20 meters tall. Everything was golden. Rise narrow and she appears to take your measure. So while you, people, were tearing each other apart over your petty little revolution. Okay, aber offensichtlich nicht mehr. The Republic of Mesk is a massive confederation on the Isola of Muindi, the world's largest state by territory. It's a petro state, a constitutional monarchy, and as of recently, an outcast due to its tilt to the far right. Ah. Unser großer, dicker Freund am, am Por ist, ist, ist der nicht von Mask? Right, I have some other questions for you, police questions. It's not like I have anything better to do in this hellhole. She settles back against the rating of her motor lorry behind her mountains of memorabilia. Photos and knickknacks line the dashboard. Tell her to show you the soles of her boots. Maybe she was at the hanging somehow. Okay. Uh, I still don't really understand this old man. What are you holding? Diamonds. Of course not. But wouldn't it be marvelous if I was? Hmm. Okay, but what are you really holding? Whatever stupid things they put in the lorry, I imagine. 
So you don't know what you're holding in your own lorry? I quit concerning myself with that a long time ago. Besides, I don't drive the lorry for the cargo. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, some of you escaped. She says that as if something narcotic is the real reason. Wait, you get high off driving a lorry? It's so much more than a high where I go, are you feel? It's low. I go to the bottom. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's definitely some kick. Some terrible kick in the dark. A sleep kick. Perhaps you can find out later. What if the cargo is contraband? I guess it makes sense. Minding your own business. Of course it does. What did you expect? What do I need drugs for, Loman? What I see, what I feel, the great adversary, no drugs can compare. Okay, uh, that's not really what I was getting at. Where could I get my hands on an experience like that? Okay, let me ask this. If you don't know, <laughs> <laughs> maybe if she thought you're corrupt. What is it that you're holding? Except I wanted to ask if you'd be interested in smuggling some drugs. Um, hmm, gute Frage. Why would I want to do that? For commerce, the lifeblood of the Isolas, for the glory of the World Republic, liberation of the spirit and body, I don't know, the thrill of the criminal lifestyle. Loman, what in the name of God are you talking about? Ja, das weiß ich auch nicht. Ich rede einfach irgendwas, was denkst du? Okay, let me put this another way. Are you smuggling drugs through criminal D? Probably not. Makes no difference to me either way. Okay. How can you not know what you're holding in your own lorry? Just this month I made half of those in trade from Saramiriza to Grad. The U for one A. What do you think they take from Saramiriza to Grad, Loman? I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. Diamonds, Loman, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't ask you about diamonds, did I? I don't care about that. If you had to guess, who do you think is smuggling drugs around here? He's the skinny man who thinks he's a poet. Never trust a poet. <laughs> also, he's the only one I can see from here. Hmm. That's correct. There is no visibility of any of the others. Okay. No, das klingt gut. I didn't ask you about diamonds, did I? I don't care. Okay. If you're not involved with the drug trafficking, then why are you still waiting here? You want me to go. This isn't so bad. I can listen to music or the seagulls. Look at all the colors and the beauties of this world. It's a good palace cleanser, this jamboree. Okay. okay. I can just relax and let my mind carry me back where it will, to the Great Plains. I think we're done here, no? Yeah, I think so. Before I came, you seemed away. Show me the soles of your boots. Now what do you want with an old woman's boots, Sheriff? Important police business, ma'am. Please, help me out here, it's important. Please? I think you should let me get back to Gabriel Buenguerro. You are not Gabriel. Gabriel doesn't say to She's wearing sturdy workers' boots made of black leather. Buckles run across. The sole is also made of leather. Just before Gabriel, there was the coronation of Franco Negro. Now, there was a real man. She puts her foot down. Okay. Gut, also sie ist nicht dort gestanden. The boots were size 37. Tiny. There are too many discrepancies in all this. Okay. Another discrepancy, although not boot related, is the coronation of his innocence, Franco Negro, which happened 500 years ago. Oh.
Wait, what do you mean it was the coronation of Franco Negro? It was. And then it was no more. And I was no longer holding my father's hand. He was no longer descending the stairs in vile. The crowd had gone silent. Perhaps it was another Herfe who came and woke me up, looking at my boots, asking questions. Or uh, perhaps it was one of the others in this carnival. I don't remember. <laughs> As she says, carnival, she gestures to the empty square with the statue and the machines. She's not old soul. I could have told you that from just looking at them in size 37. The feet of a little girl, they fit well on the pedals. Besser, wer solche Schuhe trägt, grundsätzlich. Yes, go. Enough jamboree. I need to get back to Mesky. Okay. Und es gibt natürlich noch den dritten Fahrer, den Nazi. Gehen wir mal zu dem Nazi-Typen. Irgendwo. Oh. Mit dir kann ich nicht reden, oder? Nein. Der war irgendwie da drüben. Wir kommen nicht so drüben. Something odd. Come to tell me to fuck off again? Yep. <laughs> Yours? <coughs> <coughs> oh man, oh man, that's great. Look at that guy go. I haven't seen anything that funny in a while. God, man. <laughs> Thanks for that, but no, it's not mine. He okay. doesn't live in Martinez. Okay, you're Laurie, you're Laurie man, right? Just stands on. God, they are shit, man. I don't let anything pollute my body. Takes a long drag on his cigarette. You know where that shit comes from? Sarah Miriza, Safre, Ilmara. They take the money from our local junkies here and then use it to outcompete us in the manufacturing sector. Well, arc. They know they can't beat us in a fair fight, so they have to get us to weaken ourselves somehow. It's racial sabotage. Racial economic <laughs> sabotage. Okay, ich habe jetzt vor kurzem ein Buch über Drogen in Nazi Deutschland gelesen und das passt sehr gut, was er da sagt. Also grundsätzlich waren die Nazis voll gegen Drogen, haben sie aber trotzdem verwendet. Naja, was soll's. Um, Hold on, but they make Al Ghul alcohol in Mara too. It was, I was told they do. So I take it you're not smuggling drugs. Listen, I agree. It's our responsibility to keep this poison off the streets of Russia, right? That's all I need to. Okay. Give me my recht. Vielleicht sagt uns dann mehr. Respond. This goes on for about two seconds. Then I don't know shit. And if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Ah, Schwein's calm. Then what are you still hanging around here? Most other. What do you think? I can't leave the lorry unguarded. Stuff's been getting looted lately. It's those little kids sneaking on at night. If they touch my stuff, the bosses will be on my ass like ass cancer. There was a bunch of spilled boxes in the back of a big lorry nearby. Yeah, I knew that guy. Mm -hmm. He was an honest driver who loved this country. We were having a good debate about genetics at the Wheeling in Rags when some kid boys smashed his lot and took damn near everything. Lost his fucking job over it. Okay. Since you left, I haven't had anyone to talk to. If they were getting drunk inside the whirling in rags, how could they know who broke into the lorry? Hmm. Here are all were at the whirling. How do you know it was kids who broke into the lorry? 
aren't we allowed to say that he's a kibs with all the ceiling around here? That's not road to science, man. <laughs> then who's running drugs through Terminal B? Fucking ceiling, that beady eyed South Samaran. His little side business is a scam. I wouldn't be surprised if he was peddling drugs as well. Ah, the street vendor. Wait, the street vendor south of here? That guy's a lorry driver? Of course, he's a lorry driver. What? He tell you he's just some simple businessman or some shit. He's selling his employer stuff after he broke the seals on his human looks lorry. <laughs> Well, arc. His tribe are natural liars. It's in their blood. He's your man, all right? One hundred percent. I wouldn't Manster. be so sure about it. Not until we've heard what C Lang himself has to say. Guess we need to pay C Lang a visit then. Yes, so. Okay, also er beschuldigt den äh, Typen dort unten und sie beschuldigt den Poeten. Ich meine, der Typ da unten ist ein grimmiger Ekelpaket-Typ. Ähm, aber andererseits, auf dem Weg da drunter sind wir bei ihm vorbei. Also, Matthias mit ihm. Stuck in the rain in a traffic jam, man. What's on your mind? Ah, oh, man. But, those days are behind me. There are other addictions in my life now. Hey, man, that's serious criminal talk. Okay. Is a practice whereby yeah, 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 yeah. Law we have a credible lead. Not me, man. No way. Look, man. I try. We wouldn't say he's okay. Da gibt's also nichts weiteres. Na, dann gehen wir mal zu dem Silang runter. Ah, da ist der. <lacht> er, schaut einfach, er schaut einfach so kriminell aus. Der kann es nicht gewesen sein, so kriminell wie er ist und wie er redet. So sie nein. What's your stance? Drugs? I don't go in for that, officer. Drugs ruin lives. Unless you're into drugs, of course. In which case, drugs are excellent. <lacht> <lacht> I'm looking for a lorry driver who is transporting drugs out of the harbor. He or she is in a traffic jam. I'm super into drugs. I actually don't like drugs. <laughs> okay. Um, nein, wir, wir, wir lassen das weg. Oder sagen wir, wir, wir wollen Drogen. Wollen wir Drogen? Brauchen wir Drogen? That's very cool. A lot of the coolest detectives do drugs. Sadly. I don't have any drugs on sale. Check <laughs> my home or on my person. Ah, du bist der Erste. That's even cooler. You investigate in that and all. But uh, I am not a lorry driver. I'm just a street vendor. I don't know anything about that. Ah. A blatant lie, sire. Yet he tells it with such conviction. We believe him if we didn't know better. But you are a lorry man. Another driver has identified you and your lorry. Who said that? It's the fat racist, right? I bet it's him. He has an agenda against me because I'm an immigrant who works harder than he does. He's a hater. Yeah, that's kind of sad. So you admit you're a lorry driver? No, I just said I work harder and he's an asshole. I'm... Okay, maybe I'm a lorry driver too. A little. But that's not the most important thing about me. That's my day job. <laughs> This is my dream. <laughs> so you forgot to tell me. So you were embarrassed to tell me. Stop squirming. What do you know about the drug operation in the harbor? Sollen wir ihn gleich darauf ansprechen? Oder eins von diesen beiden? No, I just forgot. It's such a 
small part of my life. It's in the rear view mirror now. I'm climbing out of that hole with ingenuity. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. No! That's insane! It's the fat hater. He's been eyeing me for a week and he sent you here. Maybe he's the one, huh? Have you thought about that? Stop spoiling. What do you know about the drug operation at the harbor? Nothing. I told you. I'm not a dumb guy. I don't get in board with that crowd. And what crowd is that? Crowd, you know, the drug crowd. No, he wasn't talking about an abstract crowd. It was that, that crowd. Okay. It wasn't some drug crowd. You know who they are. Tell me now. You're wasting my time. Tell me who the fuck is transporting the drug. Okay, if you don't know, then I'll tell your employer you've been selling his stuff. Hm, das könnten wir natürlich auch machen. Ich würde sagen, das hilft bei ihm. Aber nachdem wir Rhetorik, äh, nachdem Rhetorik den Wurf geschafft hat, wollten wir das unserem inneren Selbst zugute halten und Get me into this mess. I spent 15 years working my way up. Okay. Here we go. There's a tiny bit of truth on the table. Zoom in on it. Get into this mess, Razor Wars. You have to give us a reason to move on. Yeah. It's a she, okay? The drivers call her the lady driver. Oh, cool. Away from her. The way they talk about her, she's no lady. Ooh. Who are these other drivers who talk? Is the lady driver the old woman back there? I don't know. Maybe. If she is, I haven't gone near her. I don't get involved. I don't... It could be. She was strange. Hmm. He's not ruling her out. Okay. All of them. I don't know. I told you all I know. Are we cool now? I really want us to be cool now. Okay. Who exactly is talking about this lady driver of yours? The racist or the other one with the tattoos? Hmm. All of them. Even the ones who've left. I don't hang out with them. I don't remember who has tattoos. Okay. Also, jeder kennt die Lady. All right. I scored. Let's cap this off with a purchase. You can walk away from here with funky sunglasses, detective. Both of you. You deserve it. Let's cap this off. Uh... Was haben wir dann da noch? The speakers below are banged up and worthless. The sneakers triumph over them. They're the star of the show here. Ah, okay, ja, aber wir nehmen keine Sneaker um 50. Das tut halt nicht. You keep coming back. That's good, officer. Keep browsing those clothes. Keep saving that economy. Ah, wir brauchen Composure, okay. Itchy Pants. Ah, oh, sicher nicht. Okay. Let's move on. Ah ja, meine Lieben. An diesem Punkt. I doubt who's the lady. Okay. An diesem Punkt. Ah, wir haben Actual Art Degree. Können wir noch machen. Wir kriegen dann minus 1 Perception, can't even look at this shit research. Okay, yeah, it's a popo type. The worst one. The most savage and brutal. Nothing is good enough for him. Everything is shit. You have to employ the model. Basically. 
with adjectives to depict and demean the mediocrity of the works and visual institutions around you really flex critical muscle until the vocabulary for uh, compliment for punishing mediocrity becomes second nature. Here we go. Klingt großartig. Dann machen wir aber erst, nachdem wir das fertig haben. Okay. Meine Lieben, wir machen Schluss für heute. Ich hoffe, es hat euch gefallen. Wir sehen uns dann bald wieder. Bis dann. Tschüss.